This is called Two Dollar Guitar. And it was uh, inspired by a real person and set of events. Uh, the gal's name was Gladys Acton from Arkansas. And what a beauty. She's passed on now. Anyway, she lived just a couple of blocks up from where we were living at the time on 3rd Street in Porterville. But I was painting houses in those times, and I painted the house next to her house. And anyway, I'm a whistle-while-you-work type of guy. Not that I can whistle, or, but I sing away and uh, do the two, two things at once. And she got an overflow of that. And her being musical, not that I was impressing anyone or even knowing that I was heard, uh, said, you know, would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? And I thought, sure. So anyway, we had our, our break there and our first encounter, and it was just natural and a real delight, and it unfolded into years of uh, her last years here on Earth, uh, maybe about eight, I'm not sure. Um, but it started off just from a cup of coffee. Anyway, uh, she loved music, and she used to pull out antiques from this back, back room that was quite mysterious, and it was show and tell at her house as we would visit then having met, you know, from time to time, and uh, share songs. And, oh, she did, uh, what's that um, cotton song? Um, when those cotton bowls get to rotten, you can't pick any more cotton. In those old cotton fields back home, she did it with her sister, uh, and I just was knocked out because it was not this um, tidied-up, uh, performance-ridden, style, but just the real McCoy. Anyway, uh, one of the visits, she pulls out this old, dirty, dusty little guitar. She told me the story, and she said, you know how much it cost? And so she was proud that it was only $2, and that was the type of um, sharing, you know, uh, humble sharing from her roots, from Arkansas having nothing, dirt poor, as they say. Anyway, uh, I said, you mind if I take this home? So I restrung it, I cleaned it down, restrung it like I do, with little uh, forlorn orphan instruments, guitars, and that, and brought it back to her with this song, and she just loved it, and I thanked her for the whole experience. But here it goes, it goes. I went down, 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 down to L.A. town Just to browse and shop around I looked near and I looked far to find my mm, 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 mm. down at the boutiques and the yard sales and the swap meet. I was searching for the cutest little thing on the street. I didn't have an awful lot of sourdough in my anorexic wallet, so <laughs> I went down, down to LA. Just to browse and shop around. I look near and I look far to find my. Mm. Then my eye caught a glimpse of my future mate under a Mexican hat and a lady's red dress. Excitement started running through my musical veins. Couldn't wait to check the top, back, neck, and the strings. Ooh. Excuse me, ma'am. How much is this little guitar? Uh, I suppose two dollars. Sold! Ding! That would be the cash register. I went down to L.A. Just to browse and shop around. I look near and I look far to find my two dollar guitar. I used to think, yeah, my Gibson's great, my Martin's great, my 12 string Australian Maton's great. But now I've found another fate to come into 
my music life Two dollar joys A discount price Two dollar joys A discount price Two dollar joys A discount price Don't, 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 don't <laughs> When I did that on the tape that I finally recorded for her, she just loved this dum, 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 dum at the end or however that worked. And she just laughed every time that came up. That's why I had to do that. But I didn't do it well. Anyway, I like it. And then a guy, you're supposed to have parts, as the lady says, uh, I suppose $2 would be, you know, the price. And then when I say I like it at the end, a, another voice is supposed to say, ah, pretty cheap, Larry. And then I go, yeah, but I'm a cheap sort of guy. And then we end up, sorry for the length of this, but it's such an endearing story. I couldn't help but share it or try to. Adios. And Gladys, I miss you. Gladys Acton from Arkansas.